happened to find your place Somewhere so bright Someone to love you Somewhere to run You can't escape to And know that you are safe Yeah, you have found your place Sandy, how's Tom? Hi, Mary. Oh, he's great, thanks. Are you thinking of a trip to Bali? Mm -hmm. Dreaming about it, maybe. Well, go in the spring before the high season starts. It's less crowded and the weather is gorgeous. Wow. Have you been? No, but I have read that book from cover to cover, so it's almost like I've been there. And while you're in the area, you know, Australia is not that far away and it's absolutely beautiful. Be ashamed to miss it. You've been to Australia? No, another great book. Okay, well, good to know. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Okay, will do. Thanks. <laughs> I just poured that for myself. Mary, don't you remember anything Mom and Dad taught us about sharing? Wait a second. Weren't you supposed to have study group today? I did. We quizzed each other while we were shooting hoops. Hoops? Basketball. Tyler, I love that you're going to business school. I do, but you need to take it seriously. I know. I am. Okay, well, dribbling hoops doesn't sound like seriously. Dribbling hoops? Wow, you really are a sports nut, aren't you? Just check the year-end reports. I did. They are not bad. Not bad. Mary, the first thing they teach us in business school is numbers in red are not good. It's a slow time. It'll pick up. Have you talked to Mom and Dad? No. And you're not going to either, because the store is ours, they're retired, and this red stuff, it's our problem now. Well, then we really need to talk about updating the store. We have a website. We have a Facebook page. So we're competitive with 10 years ago. Tyler, on the same page, has been here for almost 40 years because we're traditional. This is a place where people can come in and pick up a book and have a conversation about it with another human being. If there was another human being here, that is. Look, this is a bookstore. It's not a web arcade digital virtual cyber hacking zone. You have no idea what you're saying, do you? No, I, I don't. The point is, we haven't survived for almost 40 years by trying to be something that we're not. We've done it by being who we are. Then why are you meeting with Janet and Levy? Because we went to college together. And she runs a big PR firm. All right, fine. She offered to help out with the 40th anniversary party. Wow. She must be a really big deal if you're going all the way downtown. I mean, that is a big adventure for you. Is this the part where you're taking things more seriously? Oh, man. He did it again. Who did what? Adam Claiborne. Who? The Denver Royals hockey player. He got into it with a ref last night and got booted from the game. Hockey. That's the one where you throw the old pigskin down the field, yes? Sometimes I can't tell if you're joking. I just don't care about some guy in cleats getting kicked out skates. of a game. Skates. Hockey. He's played on skates. I know what hockey is. Do you? Go away. Monster, isn't it? It's never too early for games that amuse four year olds. Or the grown ups who act like them. It is too early for a lecture, though. Maybe you should have slept at your place instead of on my couch. Press was camped out of my place downtown. I wasn't in the mood. Yeah, I know. Erica keeps calling your phone, and when you don't pick up, she calls mine over and over and over again. Did you tell her I was here? No, but I'm pretty sure she knows. She's got powers or something. Chuck, she's the president of a hockey team. She's not a wizard. And she's also really mad at you. Erica is always mad at me. Yeah, because you keep causing trouble and costing us games. No. 
It's because we dated years ago, and she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I broke up with her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the losing the game part. Adam, you've been ejected from three games this season. What happened to you? Oh, when we were on the team in Texas, we were the wild ones. Well, I got traded to Denver, I met Sarah, got married and had a kid. I grew up. Maybe you should try it. What? I lose my childlike sense of wonder? It's so quiet out here in the suburbs. Why don't you move back downtown? Because I am happy. Again, maybe you should try it. Look, I'm the one who had to convince Erica to bring you here because I promised her that you have changed. This is why you got kicked off the Texas team, Seattle and New Jersey. New Jersey was not my fault. The guy on the other team started. Well, according to you, it's always the other guy. If Erica cuts you from the team... Erica's not gonna cut me. Okay. Answer the phone, then. I will. After I get some air and a coffee. Take whatever you've got. Except none of that weird flavored stuff. If I wanted hazelnuts in my coffee, I'd go to wherever hazelnuts are from. Oh, well, now that is interesting. You know, they originally thought that they were from Damascus, but now evidence points to Scotland almost 9,000 years ago. Can I just get my coffee? Uh, we don't have coffee. Oh, okay, I get it. I gotta buy a book first in order to get a cup of coffee? No, you have to buy a book because it's a bookstore. Look, fine. Here. Quilting. You got a problem with that? Nope. That'll be 1995. Now can I get my coffee? We don't have coffee. This is a bookstore. All bookstores have coffee. No, they don't. This one does. Then why did I just buy that book? Because you need a hobby? No, I need a coffee. Yeah, we're well, right back where we started. I want my money back. Sorry. You don't accept returns? People read books and then they bring them back and expect a refund. Yeah, but I just bought that 30 seconds ago. Store policy, no exceptions. Look, I, just... <sighs> Great. You know what? Never mind. I'll go find a real bookstore somewhere. Sir? Aren't you forgetting something? here, but for the record, I'm Tyler, this is my sister Mary, and we're here for Book Chat. Mary, what are we chatting about today? The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, one of my favorite books. You say that every week. <laughs> How am I supposed to choose? There are too many good books. I mean, the whole world is here. Well, why don't we get started? Now, when I first read The Great Gatsby, I was struck by Fitzgerald's color imagery. He basically talks right about how he looks specifically the colors that he uses. I mean, we can just go right from there.
cannot thank you enough for agreeing to help me out. Stop. You helped me through my finals in college, so I owe you a lot more than some free PR advice. Paris, I've always wanted to go. You were always talking about the places that you write about you were going to go and visit. Yeah. What have you knocked off your list? Uh, well, you know, I, uh, I did go a few places after college, but then I just got so busy helping out my folks with the store and everything. And now you run it. Mm. It's great. It's not much, but... but... That's why you came to me. So let's talk ideas. I had my staff do some research, and where I would love to start is getting on the same page, more integrated into the community. Uh, well, we've been there almost 40 years, so we're kind of a fixture. Sure. But these days, it's a lot more than just longevity. You need to connect with people. How? Well... Your neighborhood has a kids' hockey league. You could sponsor a team. Or we could do more advertising at nearby businesses. Oh, and the 40th anniversary, you need to do a big party for that. Maybe a winter festival kind of thing. Get the whole neighborhood to come out and celebrate. Um, all of these things take money. You know the old saying, you need to spend money to make money. Well, you have to have the money to spend the money to... What I'm trying to say is we would love to do things like this, but... Things are that tight, huh? It's a slow time, but it's going to pick up. Mary, nobody comes to see me when things are going great. They come to see me when things are broken. I'm a fixer. I can fix this. How? Truth? I have no idea. <laughs> but I am convinced that the right idea will present itself, and when it does, we're gonna be ready. Are you with me? I am. Great. Did you forget how to answer your phone? Erica, I... Oh, no, no, no, Adam. This is the part where I talk and you listen. It reminds me of when we dated. 10 game suspension. Come on. Th this is the third time you've been kicked off the ice this season. This last time cost us the game. The ref completely missed Jack being boarded. It's like he was blind. It's not your job to tell the ref what he missed. It's your job to stay out of trouble and win games. I'm sorry, okay? No, Adam, it's not okay. The owner of the team is... Is your father. Talk to him. I did talk to him. He's the one who talked me out of cutting you. Are you sure there's not some lingering... You know, animosity over me breaking up with you. First of all, I broke up with you. No, you didn't. And second of all, that was five years ago, and I promise you I am over it. Okay. Well, what would you have to be over it about if you broke up with me? I do not like being this tense person. I really don't, but you just bring it out in me. In fact, you know what? From this point forward... I'm going to add one game to your suspension for everything you say that makes me mad. I figured about 10 minutes while well, you're going to be out for the rest of the season. Okay, okay, just tell me what I have to do to fix this. I'm glad you asked. Call our PR person. While you're suspended, you are going to work with her to repair your image. There's nothing wrong with my image. 11 games. For what? Adam. We strive to maintain a positive image with the community and our fans. This is our image. This is yours. Okay. Okay, I'll call Janet Dunleavy tomorrow. Today. And please just do whatever she says. Don't argue with her. Don't think you have better ideas than her. Basically, just don't be you. Got it. But just one more thing. I broke up with you. 12 games. Totally worth it. So you guys are thinking about going on a cruise this summer? Well... Well, your mother's thinking about it. I'm thinking about whether or not I want to think about it. Sweetheart, we are retired now. This is exactly the kind of adventure we should be having. Adventure? It's a Caribbean cruise. Oh. It's all-you-can-eat buffets. It's not wrestling crocodiles in the Amazon. I just think that we should take advantage of the fact that we do not have to worry about the store anymore. Mary and Tyler have got it all under control. Yeah, so how is the business? Paul... 
Let's find out. Don't worry. <laughs> Tyler, how's school, honey? Mm. Well, I'm having a little problem. Oh? Well, what is it? There's this one class, and it's just not going well. Oh. It's like a, a, a balance sheet that keeps coming up red. Oh. Well, what is it about this class that's got you stumped? I've done all my readings for it, obsessively, but um, I feel like I'm falling behind. Can't keep up. Oh, well, have you asked for any help? Not really. That's not true. He... Well, you've gone to advisors. You just haven't figured out exactly what to do yet. Mm. Hmm. Well, you got to do what you got to do, kiddo. Mm -hmm. well, your mother's right, Tyler. I mean, if you've got these advisors giving you advice, you should listen to it. Mm -hmm. Even if it means doing something outside of your comfort zone. Hmm. Wait. Like going on a cruise? <laughs> <laughs> and that, right there, kids, that is why I married your mother. <laughs> Oh, I'll take some wine, please. Yeah. I feel like I'm waiting for the principal to put me in detention. It's not that bad. It's what I tried to tell Erica. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's bad but we can repair this we just need to find a way to make people like you <laughs> people like me oh no they don't i had my team do a flash poll last night after erica called me and while the results they weren't good telemarketers have higher likability than you do that's Disturbing. But the good news is that they want to like you. They love the idea of a second chance, and they are open to giving you one. How? Well, one strategy I've used in the past is sort of like a buddy system. We pair you with a respected member of the community, someone who can balance things out. According to this, Mold has a higher score than I do. Who would want to be paired with me? You'd be surprised. We get you involved in local activities, maybe do some volunteer work. It's good PR for both you and whoever we pair you up with. Did you have someone in mind? Not yet, but... Sorry. Hold on. Hi. Send her in. Mary. Hi. I'm so sorry to come by unannounced. I just wanted to be very clear that I'm so ready to do whatever it takes to make this work. Excellent, because I know just what to do. I'm going to pair you with one of my other clients, and you are both going to solve each other's problems. Well, that's wonderful. Cool. Mary Campbell, Adam Claiborne. You. You. Shall we get started? No! The hockey team will pay for everything. This way, we can put together a big to-do for the 40th anniversary of the store, and he can host it or sign jerseys or something. We can sponsor a junior hockey team. You can coach it. You and cute kids, this is the kind of immediate boost of goodwill that you need in order to get back on the team. Because when it works, when we take an uncouth hockey player and turn him into a cultured book lover who helps the community, you are going to get the credit for that. You can be the hero that rescues the beloved neighborhood institution. It's like you're Superman, and she's your Lois Lane. It's like you're Henry Higgins to his Eliza Doolittle. It's a second chance you need to reinvent the bookstore. Besides, if things are as bad as you say they are, you need a fresh start. You need to do something big to save the bookstore. You need a new beginning. This could be your last chance to save your career. Janet Dunleavy. Hi, I'm Mary's brother Tyler, and you are Adam Claiborne. I'm a huge fan. I can see that. Wait, Mary, 
Tyler, <laughs> got more to that it's story. It's my mother's favorite show. Could be worse. Could be called Joni and Chachi. Why don't we get started? So, first off, great news. I got a permit to do a Winterfest party out in front of the bookstore for the 40th anniversary, which is our big chance to reach a lot of people at once. It's in four weeks. Four weeks? Is that enough time to get everything ready? Mm-hmm. That's why we're here. We can brainstorm ideas. We need a big one. A showcase idea. Anybody? How about a food truck? Maybe one that serves coffee. How's the quilt coming? I'm just saying, I've never seen a bookstore that didn't have coffee. Does it a lot of them, do you? You don't know me. What was the last book you read? Oh, and Sports Illustrated? Not a book. Okay, why don't we put a pin in that? How about we talk about the junior hockey team we're gonna sponsor? We'll get a photographer to come out and get Adam coaching the kids and at the game. Oh, he he's gonna coach kids. Hey, I'm great with kids. Yes, because you are one. You know, I'm here to help you. You need me more than I need you. What was that? I said you need Oh, I couldn't more hear you over the racket all your customers are making. <sighs> I think this is going great. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. She's impossible. Oh, I understand impossible, Adam. <laughs> you mean me? No, she's worse. She thinks she knows everything. She always has to be right. So you two have a lot in common. Why are you here? Moral support? You two are enjoying this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This is a terrible idea. Mary, this is exactly the kind of PR stunt the bookstore needs, okay? It's gonna be amazing. We can still back out. I'm putting up posters. We haven't finished yet. Not too late. Sorry. No backing out now. I'll just put him back up. Are we starting soon? Yes. We are. We are just waiting for your coach. Adam Claiborne, right? Right. He's tough. Mm -hmm. It's cool how he argues with the refs. No, it, it isn't. <sighs> You're late. Sorry, I'm not used to it. Responsibility? Mornings. Wow, it's really you. I'm Coach Adam. What's your name? Noah. Nice to meet you, Noah. Would you mind telling Noah that getting into trouble isn't cool? Absolutely not. I mean, although... What are you doing? Well, I was just going to say that sometimes when a ref makes a really bad call, you can't just say nothing. For instance, this one time in Albuquerque, we... No! You are not allowed to tell a 12-year-old about that one time in Albuquerque. You don't even know what happened. If you were involved, it could not have been good. Now, listen, for some reason that is totally beyond my comprehension, you are a role model to these kids, so be a good one. Now, repeat after me. Trouble. Not cool. Trouble? Not cool. He's right. So, you can tell your friends that, and uh, we'll be over in a second, okay? All right. It's gonna be a disaster. Okay. No matter what we might think of each other, I think we can both agree that the most important thing here is the team, and making sure they have a good time. So, how about we call a truce until after practice? Agreed. Okay. Hey, kids, let's get up. All right. All right. I'm Adam Claiborne, and I'm going to be your coach. And I am Mary Campbell. I am sponsoring the team. Well, actually, uh, on the same page is. Okay, who plays what position? Shouldn't you ask them to introduce themselves first? That's what I was just doing. No, you asked them what they do on the team. You didn't ask them anything about themselves, like what their names are, or their interests, or what they want to be when they grow up, or their favorite book. I like to start there. This is a hockey team. Yes, so what are you going to do? Are you just going to call them by their playing places? <laughs> playing places? Yes. So this delightful young human would be the... Please, I would love to hear you list off the playing places of a hockey team. The... Goal. Goalie. Goalie. Who's my goalie? Yes, you are. There you are, coming for it. Up top. <clears throat> Name another. I think I made my point. I think you made mine. Shall we? OK. 
Okay, kids, center ice. I finished shutting everything down. You up to anything tonight? You want to come for dinner with me and my friends? Uh, you know, I think I'm just gonna stay in and read. What are you reading? Weathering Heights. I've read it so many times. It just keeps getting better. Well, don't say too late. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if you have any questions about hockey, you can just ask me. Because hockey has a rich history. In fact, it dates back to 1300 when a certain... You're kidding me, right? I think that they could use a little bit of historical context. I mean, just because Noah is the center forward and Jesse is right defense, and they're both working to get the puck into the crease, I don't think that they need to be barbarians about it. Oh, someone read a book about hockey. Don't know what makes you think that. Because the other day, all you knew was goalie. Didn't want to show off. Oh, look, I think it's cute, but I want you to stick to the books and let me deal with the important things. You know, like winning. Winning isn't everything. Yes, it is. That's why it's a competitive sport. If there wasn't a winner, it would just be people out there hitting a piece of rubber with a stick. Did you know that the original hockey pucks were made of wood? Stop it. Just... just... Oh! It's the cardinal rule of defense. But we want the puck. Well, yes, we do, but... Yeah. Oh, come on! You can't give him a penalty for that! What happened? We got a penalty. It's totally bogus. Hey, ref, there's no way you call that. I don't think you should be doing that. Okay. It's my team. I'm going to handle it. Handle what? You don't even know what's going on. That's not the point. Hey, ref, ref, let him play, ref. No. Where'd you get your whistle? A Cracker Jack box? You should not be talking to him like that. He's wearing a shirt. Not exactly what I had in mind. Look at this. I do look bonkers. What about me? I need good press, not more bad. Guys, relax. We can fix this. I hope so, because my entire life is in your hands right now. Mine too? See? There. Now you have something in common. Mm. Truce. For real this time. Cheers. Wonderful. Things are looking up already. Now, we have three weeks into the winter anniversary party, and we still need that showcase idea. How do I fit into this anniversary party? Master of ceremonies, signing autographs, kissing babies, whatever it takes. We're gonna do a trial run at a book fair this weekend. Aren't book fairs expensive to enter? Not this one. The school board's staging it to promote reading. Oh. Besides, the hockey team will cover any expenses. You've got a booth right up front. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. You're welcome. But since there's nothing to host, per se, we need a good reason for Adam to be there. Mm. We could bring a bunch of books about hockey. Great idea. Mary, do you know any good books on hockey? Yeah, Mary. Do you? You and Dan had the store for almost 40 years without a problem, and we've had it less than a year, and it's... it's got problems. How do you worry too much? I have to. I just don't know how to manage the store and babysit this... Adam at the same time. Tyler said he's really nice. He's not. He is reckless. He's immature. He's rude. Why are you smiling like that? Oh. Shakespeare. Just a little quote about the lady doth protest too much. No. Oh, no. No. No. Mm -hmm. Not even a little bit.
Excuse me. Hey. What is this? What is, uh, it's a truck. I know what a truck is. Why is it in front of my store with my sign on it? Oh, you must be Mary. Adam said you might be a little high strung. What? <laughs> Listen, whatever this is costing, I cannot afford it. No, Adam took care of it. Now, are you opening soon? Because I got about three people waiting to get a book in their free cut, so... Thank you for helping me get set up for the book. I'm suspended, remember? I didn't have anything better to do tonight. Thank you also for the coffee truck. That was very nice, and we actually sold a lot of books. Really? Yes, it was a good idea. Maybe a showcase mm -hmm. idea. Don't push it. You know, if I don't get back on the team, I can always help you run this place. <laughs> What are you going to do when you're done with hockey? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. How can you not think about the future, not make a plan? Yeah, I'm more of a live-in-the-moment kind of guy. But without a plan, you're just wandering. Some of the world's greatest discoveries were made by people who were just wandering. Really? Mm -hmm. Name one. Chocolate chip cookie. What? Some chef was trying to make chocolate cookies and didn't have the right ingredients, so she put chocolate chunks into the batter, thinking it would mix in. It didn't, and that became the chocolate chip cookie. That can't be true. It's true. Surely I would have heard something about this. Mm -hmm. Wakefield in her kitchen, 1938. Well, I'll be darned. How did you know that? I read things other than Sports Illustrated. What's your favorite book? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Nobody's ever asked me that. I mean, surely there was some book that made an impression on you at some point? The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Really? I read it when I was a kid. I hadn't thought about it since. What did you like about it? Him and Huck Finn were always out exploring and getting into trouble, and I always, I just like the idea of it. It's a great book. It's one of my favorites, too. Although the book chat audience says that I have too many favorites. That doesn't surprise me. We're reading War of the Worlds next. Oh, they turned that Tom Cruise movie into a novel? I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, here. In case you'd like to join us. You'd want to hear what I have to say about a book? I want to hear what anyone has to say about a book. I don't know if I'll have time. Right. I still have a couple chapters of that quilting book to go, and I have to see how it ends. I know a couple fans here. Adam, as on brides. Sorry, ladies. Duty calls. Thank you. Thank you. Great. What? They were fans. Fans. <laughs> they were groupies. Why? Because they were pretty? Pretty women can't be hockey fans? I didn't say that. I just don't think that you would be paying so much attention to them if they weren't pretty. That's not true. All people who love hockey are seen equally in my book. Do you even believe the things that come out of your mouth? <sighs> I'm sorry. I am. And I don't know what it is about him, but he is just so maddening and he just pushes my buttons. It's not that bad. Oh, good. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's bad. May I see the article? I think it's best that you don't. Just the headline? Just something like, Mary and Adam at it again. Well, you should talk to him. I have. And? And now I'm talking to you. Me? Yes, you. We are going to try this again tomorrow at another event that I've set up. And I have some ground rules for the both of you. But he's clearly... Both of you.
Okay, so what are we here to do? Donate books to the library. And what are we not here to do? Argue. Or? Use our outside voices. Or? Do anything that might embarrass us and by extension you. Very good. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Smiles. Car repair. What's wrong with car repair? Well, not exactly literature. You're such a snob. I'm not a snob. You think that just because you read everything, you're so much smarter and better than everyone? You think that just because I read anything that I'm a snob, this is your bias. Well, your bias is that you think that people who play hockey are out of control crazy. Well, I don't think that about everyone who plays hockey. You're the one who keeps getting kicked out of games. Why do you get into so many fights anyway? I don't go out and randomly start arguing with people. What, so he started it as your defense? Kind of, yeah. The thing with the ref the last game, someone on the other team boarded a guy on my team. Boarded? Pushed him into a wall excessively. The ref didn't see it. So I went to tell him, and things kind of escalated from there. So you were defending your teammate? Yeah, you can do what you want to me. I don't care. I can take it. But you don't mess with my teammates or people I care about. Rather nice. I have my moments. And you might be right. About what? I can be a bit defensive around really smart people. I'm not that smart. No, oh, I wasn't talking about you. Hi, Adam. Hi, Miss Campbell. Oh, uh, it's so nice to see you here. Mom brings me every week. That's wonderful. By the way, she thinks it's you guys' fault that we lost the tournament. She probably has a point. Just remember, Noah, winning is not everything. Adam said when he was the best. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I use those exact words. You said only losers. Okay, Noah, it's so good to see you. Tell your mom I'll pay for therapy. Kids love me. Mm. Parents. You've got to make them retract this. Why? Because we are not an item. It doesn't say that you are. It asks a question which allows them to get away with just about anything. Yes, but I do not want people thinking this about us. It's about me. The important thing is that they are thinking of you. She's right. I mean, look at all these customers. We've had more people in the store today than we've had in the past months combined. Yes, but most of them aren't buying anything. They just want to know if I'm dating Adam. And, like, what's his favorite color? Which is green. Why do I know this? Mary, you just have to believe in the plan. Yeah. I'm looking for another good thing to put the two of you in. But in the meantime, we're working on the big anniversary party. That'll really be what turns things around. Right. Okay, I have to go. Call you later. Thanks, Janet. Very proud of you, you know? Me? Why? You're trying new things, opening up to new ideas. You're excited about the possibilities of what could... What do you want? <clears throat> I want to record tonight's book chat as a podcast. No. Mm -mm. You know I don't like talking in front of a lot of people. It's not like you're going to see them. And besides, I'll edit out the parts where you embarrass our family and bring about the ruination of the store. message what's up have you heard from adam he was doing that library thing today and i was expecting some sort of disaster no it went fine actually in fact did you see this oh yeah okay i can live with that oh that's good doesn't bother you why would it bother me well because you and adam were i broke up with him okay Bother me. That's ridiculous. Hi, everyone. Welcome to On the Same Page Book Chat. We're recording a podcast today, so if you want to say something, use a microphone. Okay? Okay. Mary, over to you. Okay. Uh, what book are we doing this week? Uh, War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, thank you. Um, 
Mary, you were saying? Yes. War, War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells, often associated with the 1938 radio drama of the same name by Horst Wells. Oh, and also, and, and, and say your name. Adam Claiborne of the Denver Royals. <laughs> and I was going to mention the Tom Cruise movie. I, I love that movie, right? I, Adam, what did you think of the book? I thought it was great. Good, good, but uh, what did you think about the themes? What was H.G. Wells commenting on? Uh, alien invasions are bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good point. But what about the issues of colonialism? I mean, the British Empire was making big moves at that time. Fine, but sometimes an alien is just an alien. And sometimes an alien is the king of England. Are you saying we shouldn't comment on the deeper themes in novels? No, I'm not saying that, but you also don't want to overthink things. This story is about two sides in a battle for Earth. It's like an intergalactic hockey game. But it's also about the battle for the survival of the human race. I mean, these aliens are using heat rays to decimate entire towns. Now, I've read a lot of books about hockey, and frankly, I don't see an equivalent. You've never taken a puck to the face. <laughs> Arkadaşlar konumuz İslamiyet öncesi Türk devletleri. İlk olarak bilmemiz gereken Türk adının anlamı Çin kaynaklarında miğfer olarak geçmekte. İran'da güzel insan, Arap kaynaklarında deniz sahilinde oturan adam, yalnız insan. Uygur metinlerinde güç ve kuvvet, Divan-ı Ligatik Türk'te olgunluk çağı, Ziya Gökalp'e göre töreli, türeli, kanun ve nizam sahibi, Van Bere'ye göre türemek anlamındadır. Önemli Türk destanlarına bakacak olursak Alper Tunga ve Şu destanı İskitlere, İran kaynaklarına sakalar olarak geçmekte. Oğuz Kağan destanı Asya Hunlarına ait. Manas, Kırgızlara, Küreyiş ve Göç, Uygurlara, Ergenekon ve Bozkırt, Göktürklere, Dede Korkut hikayeleri Oğuzlara aittir. Orta Asya'da ilk kültür merkezleri Burada önemli olanlar, Türk, bizim için, Türkler için önemli olanlar, Anav kültürü, Orta Asya'nın en eski kültürü, Afanesiova, Türklerin en eski kültürü, Tagar kültürü, bölgedeki kültürlerin en gelişmişi olduğunu bileceğiz. Göçebe yaşamla ilgili bilmemiz gerekenler, temel geçim kaynağı hayvancılık, sözlü hukuk kuralları vardır, hafif cezaları kısa sürelidir, taşınabilir sanat eserleri vardır, mimari yoktur. Savaşçı özellik güçlüdür. Yerleşik yaşam, temel geçim kaynağı tarım ve ticaret, yazılı hukuk kuralları görülür, hapis cezaları uzun süreli, kalıcı eserler görülür, şiircilik ve mimari vardır. Savaşçı özellik zayıftır. E, yerleşik yaşamla ilgili bilmemiz gereken hap bilgi olarak buğday ambarları, madencilik, halı, Kilim dokumacılığı, at koşum takımları, mezarlık, heykel ve benzeri unsurlar göçebe toplumlarda görülebileceğinden yerleşik yaşamın kesin kanıtı olamaz. Bu önemlidir. Üçüncü olarak ilk Türk devletleri ve topluluklarına bakacak olursak ilk bilmemiz gereken İskitler İran kaynaklarında sakalar olarak bilinmekte. Tarihte bilinen ilk Türk topluluğu olduğunu bilmemiz gerek. Ateizcileştirdiği kabul edilen ilk Türk topluluğu. En önemli hükümdarları Alper Tunga. Önemli sözlü edebiyat eserleri Alper Tunga ve Şu. Alper Tunga'nın ismi Şehname adlı eserde Afrasyap olarak geçmektedir. Balbal adı verilen mezar taşlarının ilk örneklerini İskitle ait. Bir dönem Homus adında bir kadın hükümdar tarafından yönetilmişlerdir. Altın madenini iyi işledikleri için bozkırın kuyumcuları olarak da bilinirler. Pantolon ve kemer tokasını dünyaya iyi tanıtan topluluk. Üzen giyi bulmuşlar. Altın üzerine binilen ayakların koyulduğu yerdir. Üzen giyi. Asya Hun Devleti bir diğer adıyla Büyük Hun Devleti Bilinen ilk hükümdarı Teoman'dır. Kut, kutlu vatan olan olarak kabul edilen Ötüken'de kurulmuştur. Tarihte bilinen ilk teşkilatlı Türk devletidir. 
Metehan dönemine bakacak olursak Sinsettin inşaya zorlamıştır Metehan. Orta Asya'da ilk kez Türk Siyasi Birliği'ni sağlamıştır. Türk tarihinin ilk düzenli ordusunu kurmuş ve onluk sistemi oluşturmuştur. Yönetimde etkili olan Kurultay Tonge Kengeş Metehan döneminde oluşturulmuştur. En önemli sözde edebiyat eseri olan Oğuz Kan Destanı'nda Oğuz Han diye geçen ünlü Türk hükümdar Metehan'dır. Asyon Devleti'nin yıkılması Tapkaçlar, Avarlar, Sasaniler ve Akunlar ortaya çıkmıştır. Bir sonraki dersimizde kavimler götünü işleyeceğiz.